I've been struggling with dry lips as you've probably seen from the thumbnail and uh, to the point where I would wake up with busted lips and I had just like scabs. So I want to show you how to get rid of severely dry, dehydrated, flaky or cracked lips. I would just keep picking them off. The problem with getting severely dry skin on your lips to the point that it scabs, if you pick it off, you haven't given it enough time to heal. And how you're gonna fix it is basically to take the same concept as my pedicure videos, meaning that you're actually going to soak your lips. Yes, you heard that right. You're going to soak your lips. Um, however, there's two ways that you can do this. You could just do like a facial steam. Like if you guys saw my DIY natural skincare routine, then you saw me make like a herbal or a botanical tea. I'll put a link to that in the card so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Or I happened to pick up some eye patches when I went to Muji recently when I was in New York. I was just trying to have like a smaller piece of like film or cloth on my lips while I was sitting there, you know, like on my phone for 10 to 15 minutes. Because if you have like a whole washcloth on your face, it might be kind of difficult to like lay down and not get the rest of your face, your neck, your clothes, or your hair wet. So I used those and I will link those down in the description box in case you guys want to do the same thing. And honestly, I do believe that the salt helps it. So if you do have not just dry but actually scabby lips, would highly recommend that you add sea salt from your kitchen. Like I said, just let that on for 10 to 15 minutes. I took my patch off and then I took like a textured washcloth. The same charcoal one that I talked about in my pre and post uh, Brazilian care video. I think it's Morihata. It has a very specific like weave or texture to it. I went in with the like nubbier side of that washcloth and I just gently exfoliate my lips. I didn't even like necessarily press down really hard and as you guys can see that skin came right off. But if that's not the case for you, it's okay to do this over the course of like two or three days. And you do want to make sure that the cloth is wet as well. Final step, and this is also one of the most important steps because exfoliation is only part of the process, you do want to apply a super thick lip mask. Not a balm, not a gloss, but a mask. So the one that I use is from Bite, and you guys probably um, even heard me talking about it on Instagram recently. Specifically because when I put it on at night and I wake up in the morning, it's still there. That is exactly what you need out of a lip mask or like a really heavy balm. It should not absorb into the skin too quickly because we really need a barrier that's just going to sit on top of the skin and hold the moisture in. The reason why your lips are so dehydrated is because you may not be possibly drinking enough water, which is usually the case for me, but even after upping my water intake, I still wasn't seeing like the results that I wanted to. So keep in mind that your skin isn't necessarily always benefiting from how much water you're drinking there are a lot of other daily functions that your body performs which are also using that however I'm gonna talk about actually two different ways to exfoliate your lips if your lips were severely dehydrated and now they're kind of okay but you want to do maintenance then you can use this scrub for that as well so I grabbed some terminado sugar but you could use whatever sugar of course that you have in your house and then I mix that with some black castor oil again feel free to use any oil that you have coconut um, almond, jojoba will work just as well. I've just been liking the castor oil because it's a little bit thicker and so it's going to be left behind when I rinse away the sugar and again it's going to give me that barrier that I really need. So again just sugar, oil, and then to that I add a little bit of vanilla and mint extract. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really lets me know what you want to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe for more recipes. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!